Victoria, thank you so much. In today's Money Talks, hey, we're talking about buying a house. Buying or selling a home can be a scary thought for a lot of people. And in to kind of bring us an update about the current state of the housing market, we have Hanson Sale here. Hanson, thanks so much for coming in. It's great to be here. Of course, and you are a representative with the Knoxville Area Association of Realtors, and you guys are constantly tracking what's going on in our area. Let's start with home sales. You already have the trends from last month. Yeah, so home sales are starting to decline. We've seen the rapid increase in interest rates really, really made affordability a problem, and so it has pushed home sales down. That's typically been the case in, in uh, years past, but uh, I think we will start to see that taper off a little bit, and we'll uh, start to see home sales stabilize. Yeah, according to the report for July, just to give you some respect, perspective here, Hanson, you've told us that home sales for July went down about 10%. Um, and talk about the prices and how kind of that plays a role in all of this as well. Yeah, so we're also seeing price growth start to moderate. So, um, you know, homes aren't getting the premium of the premium. Um, we are seeing things slow down, which is a good thing. We need to keep prices in control. It's a good thing for the stability of the market overall. Um, so, you know, we will see some of this uh, price pressure start to ease, especially in the latter half of the year. Okay, and we, while we're talking about prices here, Hanson, we've talked a few times about this when I've interviewed you. This is not a housing market bubble that's going to pop. Kind of explain that for people. Yeah, so, you know, real estate is local, and so even when you look in 2008, you know, we didn't see the drop in home prices that you would have seen in some uh, larger markets. Like, right. um, you know, we, we were stable, and I think that's going to continue, and we're also seeing a lot of migration to East Tennessee, um, and that is just bolstering our housing market. So. Uh, most economists pretty much agree that, that cities like Knoxville and Knoxville in particular, are, it's really unlikely that we're going to see home prices fall, although they might not be growing as quickly as they would in the past two years. And switching from the housing market here to the rental market, home sales went down, rental market still going strong. Yeah, we're still seeing a lot of demand in the rental market. Occupancy is starting to fall a little bit, but you know, it's at 98% and Oof. what is considered a healthy market is closer to 94 or 95, so we're still a long way from getting to where we need to be um, as far as the rental market, and so we're seeing uh, rents grow fairly substantially. Yeah, and we've done quite a few stories on that. You know, we've mentioned before that it's about building different multi-unit housing, uh, duplexes, things like that in order to kind of get the community back on track. Yeah, more dense housing. You see most of the duplexes, the triplexes that we do have, you know, we built those a number of years ago. Um, we built those in the 80s and the 70s. We haven't built them, uh, you know, since yeah. 2000. And so we're, we have a deficit of that middle range of, of the housing market that um, both the rental and owner occupied side. Hanson, thank you so much for coming on in with us on today's Money Talks, and we're going to share this interview to WATE.com. Stick with us. We'll be right back after this break. Get your UT game day going with Living East Tennessee. Today our show will be live.